Hey again, everybody. It's Nurse Kavanaugh. This is Kavanaugh coming at you this week for another yoga video. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, and it is a nice day outside. I hope you are getting some nice sunshine and some fresh air um, today if you're home. Obviously, you're home. Sorry. Um, you know what I mean. So it's so good to see you. I hope that you've been enjoying these videos. Um, Penny and I have been having a lot of fun with this, as you can tell. And this week, we are focusing our Rick theme on being intelligent. Yeah, so that's the I in the Rick, right? And this week is all about being intelligent. Okay, so what does that mean, that big word mean to some of us? Well, being intelligent could mean that you're smart, right? Or that you're wise and have wisdom. But did you know that we all have some intelligence? We all have different things that we can offer that allows us to bring some smartness, some intelligence, some wisdom to what we're doing every day. So everybody has the gift of intelligence and we all learn in different ways, right? I know at home you're probably learning um, through your teachers, through this remote learning, um, going on the computer and seeing your friends on these video chats and your and your teachers and some doing fun YouTube videos and um, I hope you're enjoying it. But as you know, being intelligent can be other things and uh, we are learning other types of things at home. And I'm sure your teachers are allowing you to give you that time to learn these things and, uh, you know, such as helping your parents or who takes care of you, uh, maybe making some yummy cookies, right? Or um, learning how to rake the yard as the spring is in bloom. It's really pretty out there. Checking out the pretty uh, flowers. So if you're going for a walk, practicing your six feet distance with your friends and with family, and then with uh, on your walk, you get to see all these beautiful flowers that are blooming and the green, right? The grass is getting greener. The trees and leaves are getting nice and green and growing. So that's a good sign. New growth, right? New beginnings. So Penny is very intelligent herself and she's getting a little tired. So she's going to come on back over here and, and take a rest while we talk about yoga and breathing and how to be mindful. Okay, so here we go, Penny. Take your little spot, your little throne there. As you can see, I'm an honoring Penny, the peaceful peacock with my headband and my leggings. Can you tell I like peacocks? They're beautiful creatures but um, they're also intelligent. And right now I wish I knew what they were intelligent for. I want to say though that um, it's all good, right? So we are, all have our own intelligence. So what I wanna do now is review quickly on some of the breaths that we talked about and some poses. This week I am offering some partner poses. Now, I know that might be weird because if you're home and you don't really have somebody your size to do these poses with, you can certainly try with an adult, um, but just be careful and it's a lot of fun making sure you're washing your hands before and after. Um, I know that we can't do some of these poses with our friends like we normally would like to in class. However, um, you can still learn it and practice it with somebody that you live with and then when you get to see your friends, Maybe you can do some fun yoga poses together. We call them partner poses. So to review, we have, I'm gonna do this quickly because I do this every week, right? So we're using the nose to breathe in and we're using the mouth to breathe out, all right? So let's get my, my light on, okay. So ready? I would like you to do this with me too. It's good to practice, ready? Nice, slow, deep breath. So we're not going fast, we're doing nice, slow, breathing in and out. All right, here we go. All right, 
Always practice that and you can use your imagination. You don't need a flower and a candle to do so, right? Remember this last week? Uh -huh. Yeah, covering up your face, your nose and your mouth. Um, if you do go to the store um, and always washing up this after in the laundry, right when you get home. All right, that was being very responsible last week. Next, we have the Hoberman Sphere. So again, just quickly, quickly reviewing, breathing in, open that chest big and wide, breathing out, kind of squeezing it all together. That felt good. Just do it one more time. Breathe in and out. Squeeze it all in. Good job. All right. I got something new um, here. And some of you might have seen me do this before. It's just a ball. Oh. I didn't even mean to do that. That's so cool. All right, so changes colors, right? Anyway, I like it. I think it's cool. You can play with it. Again, if you don't have this at home, just grab any old ball, tennis ball, and just kind of practice tossing it up in the air and holding it and maybe catching it with just one hand. Maybe in the beginning you have to catch it with two, and that's okay. Maybe switching hands, but you're practicing hand and eye coordination. Whoa, which is also what yoga does for you. It helps you focus and concentrate at the same time. So it's a really good skill to have, especially when we're sitting down and doing that homework that we might not want to do. But if we focus and concentrate, it might not take us as long as, you know, we thought it would. And sometimes you just have to start and then you get that momentum going and then you just get it done. And then you say, oh, it's over. I can go play now, right? These are important traits and things to have. Okay, remember last week I had that um, little box of, of goodies? So I have it over here. And I wanted to show you some more things this week. So um, some of my friends might remember this. This is a homemade I think, I don't know what we call this, visual aid, um, something that we can look at and focus. So sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit stressed out, a little bit sad, a little bit like all over the place, I can't, I can't just focus on one thing. I sometimes just like sit here and I play with my little visual paper. So these are um, actual Orbeez beads and been, when you put them in water, they grow, right? shake it up and and what you can do is follow maybe one little bead till it stops and then you get to do it all over again okay so something like this is fun this is just a clear plastic bottle um, actually this one's glass but you can do clear plastic bottles just take the covering off or these beads probably some of kids know what these things are. If parents don't know, I'm sure your kids will tell you, you know, just seen those YouTube videos where everybody's like in a big car of Orbeez. It's kind of weird, but this you don't really touch. You just put the small little beads in water, right? And then they grow and expand over time. So you can certainly make this at home and have as a project if you'd like. You probably have seen these too. It's like the same thing, right? I'm just really upset right now. I just kind of need to chill out. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and maybe look at those little things falling down. I don't know if you can see, but I have it's red and purple. These things are fun. Maybe if you're smart and intelligent, you can figure out a way to make one of these on your own. And if you do, I'd love to hear about it. What else do I have in my little bag of goodies? Um, look, it's a heart. Okay, guess what this also is? A stress ball. So if I'm like, I just wanna go to this house, you know? Like I just wanna see my friends. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna squeeze it until I feel better. It's actually working. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Okay, so there you go. And remember, you don't have to do any special breath because think about it, breathing is the same. Um, but always try and remember, breathe in through the nose. 
and out through the mouth. And what's kind of fun is you can breathe in, right? You can count, a count of four, hold it, and then breathe out. Maybe a count of five, six, however long you can. You can even do it for one, two, and then three, two, one. It's up to your capacity of your lungs. And I have to tell you, the more you practice it, the more your lungs will expand and get really big air and uh, nice oxygen throughout your whole body, okay? To feed your body and to feed your cells and your organs to help keep you going. Help that heart beating, right? Heart and the lungs breathing. Now, if you're congested, like stuffy nose, like if you have seasonal allergies or you just don't feel good, um, you can certainly just breathe through your mouth. It's just a technique that you would breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. All right. I don't know why I'm going to show you this, but I just think it's cool. I bought this eraser, I think at the dollar store. have not used it because it's so pretty. It's like, I don't want to use it. And I love rainbows. And I love what they stand for. So there you go. <laughs> Box of tricks. It's amazing. Okay, so we have all of that. Now we can do some fun yoga poses. All right. So this week I have, like I said, we're going to do partner poses. Um, and again, you don't have to have a partner to do these. I'm going to show you by, by myself because I don't have anybody um, right now to do them with my kids are choosing to um, not participate, but that's okay because they're going to do this later, whether they like it or not. I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> and so what I'm saying is you can do this by yourself or pick somebody that you're with and maybe have some fun and try new things. Okay. It's all about learning and experiencing new things. Don't you feel like that's kind of what this message is? This is such a strange time. We're staying home. What are we in our fifth week? And last week I was realizing it was family fun family fitness night or something and and we missed it right because we're home and I was going to do some yoga for that night and I look back and I say oh that's such a bummer and it's okay to feel bad right it's okay to feel sad and missing things but you know we're all missing it and we can also do the yoga at home which is why I'm bringing you these yoga videos um so I guess I just want to say that um it's okay to feel your feelings, get through it, feel it, and then move on, right? Whatever it is, anger, sadness, happiness, joy, mad, right? Whatever the feeling is, it's okay to feel it and then get through it. And sometimes the breathing helps us get through those feelings, okay? Anywho, here we are. So these are partner poses. Okay. So the book I have this week is also about yoga friends and partner poses. So I wanted to just introduce this. So this is a rooftops. So do you see how they're both standing and then leaning forward and connecting their hands? So they're kind of leaning in, wearing their masks, of course. Okay. Next one is, oh, this one's fun. Elevator. Now you have to trust the person you're with, right? So they can't let go because guess what? Boom, you're going to fall. So you got to make sure that you each hold on nice and evenly and tight and you can find, feel like you're having like a little bit of a balance. Oh, this one is challenging. Back to back chair. Have you ever done this one with it's like an elevator? So you sit down and then you try and stand up together by pushing evenly on each other's backs. And you see how the arms are intertwined. But again, be careful and... It's not easy, I'm telling you, I think I've done it once in my life, but that's here nor there, I'm not gonna give up, right? All right, this one, I'm trying to read this backwards. So double pretzel. All you can see, they're just sitting crisscross applesauce and they're exchanging their arms, right? And one's turning one way and the other one's turning the other way. And then they switch and go to the other side. Next, lizard on a rock. All right, so obviously you can see this person is the rock and this one is the lizard just setting himself on the rock. This is a big back um, 
like a big back bend. So you got to really kind of feel pretty warm. I would not try some of these poses until after you warm your body up by doing um, a song that we have coming up. Uh, okay, so this is Seesaw. Probably have all done this before. You can do that with your legs there together. You can also have like triangle legs and then do back and forth holding your partner's hand that way. Okay, and also be safe and careful and don't pull somebody too hard because if they're not as flexible as you, you might hurt them because um, their muscles need to be a little bit warm, but also not everybody is as flexible as everybody else. Whoa, okay, double boat. So boat pose is like this by itself. Double boat is that, okay? Open heart. Yeah, so can you see how trusting, because if they let go, boom, right? We don't wanna do that. Opening the heart, holding hands, and then you can switch sides. Next is uh, warrior friends. Oh, I like this one. So they're in the warrior two pose, right? Holding their arms. And you can always pause this if you wanna kind of look at it a little bit more uh, in depth. Okay, I guess it's good that this was last because this one's hard, but fun. So this person's doing the downward facing dog, right? This one is doing like a, like a handstand, okay? And their feet are on their back, their low back. Um, again, do this with somebody that is experienced, um, moves their body quite a bit, and be gentle and careful. Especially if you fall out, you kind of want to do almost like a somersault or just take one leg down at a time. Okay, so those are some partner poses that you guys can try. And like I said, you can always pause this, do the pose, and then start it again, and then do the next pose, that type of thing. Okay, so I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to do a song right now. I practiced it before this. It's about five minutes long, and I was out of breath. So this is a high-energy song. Um, it's fun. It's silly. I'm going to be silly, so hopefully you're going to be silly because, you know, you're home and who cares, right? Um, I'm putting myself out there looking silly for whoever sees this, so feel bad for me. No, just kidding. Um, but just do it. Do Help me. Help me do it. All right. Um, oh, this is something I'm going to do after. All right. So I'm going to play the video. I'm going to take some big deep breaths because this is a tough doozy if you're out of breath. Um, like me, and I haven't been um, moving my body as much as late as, as usual, right? All right, hopefully you can hear it.
way. Warrior. This is Warrior One. Drum on your knees. So, other leg, right? Feel both legs, both sides. If you want, you can do this instead for jumping jacks. All right. Harini Lender, she is the founder of Kidding Around Yoga, and she sang that song. Isn't it fun? I'm a little hot. I wonder how you guys are feeling. I think I could use some water. Um, so if you need to take a, a pause and drink a little water, by all means do. All right. And we're back. How are we doing? Okay, so... Another thing from Kidding Around Yoga, I printed out, I get these emails. As, I, as you know, I'm certified in Kidding Around Yoga, teaching kids yoga for now five years. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, this is called Spring Cleaning with Yoga. So can you see how happy she is? Can you believe she's happy cleaning? What? Parents, check this one out, okay. So there, we're gonna do fun things like laundry. Yep, we're gonna do laundry. We are going to make our beds. We're gonna dust. We might cook. And then of course we need to rest at the end because we're just tired from all these chores. Now kids, are you noticing your parents being very busy, right? Well, who takes care of you? And they might work either in the home or out of the home, but that doesn't mean that all the chores and things that have to get done every day doesn't get done, still does. So depending on your age and how much you wanna help, I'd love for you to help your parents out because guess what? God's involved. And you know why? Because it's a win-win, all right? So if you do something that helps the household, then you might be able to um, get something in return, but that's not why we're doing it, okay? 
We're doing it to help, period. But you never know. All right, so, so this is laundry. Now, I didn't really mean to do laundry, although I would love for you to help out. Okay, we're, we're doing yoga laundry right now. So we're gonna pretend that we're a washing machine. Okay. So <clears throat> we're sitting crisscross applesauce and I'm gonna lace my fingers behind my head, kind of like when you do, have you ever done like sit-ups like that? Okay. So sitting up nice and tall with your elbows out wide, I would like you to twist side to side chanting wishy-washy, 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 wishy-washy. Hope you're doing it at home. Oh, this is a good one for the belly. Wishy-washy, nice tall spine, belly button nice and tight. Breathe in. Okay, this is me being a washing machine. Oh, a um, little bit, a little bit dizzy, but that's just me. Um, hopefully you're not. Okay, of course we have to dry the laundry, right? So instead of hanging it on a line outside, we can be like dryers. All right, so sit cross-legged, maybe this time switch the leg, the one that feels weird in front, okay? So your left finger points at the right and vice versa, they're pointing next to each other or in front of each other. Then your fingers move in circles around each other like a wheels on the bus in motion. Now what you do is you want to use your breath because this is going to build stamina with breathing and you're going to make a long whooshing sound. Maybe reverse the direction, big breath in and whoosh. You can do that as long as you like or as long as you think it takes to dry the clothes. I'm just showing you, but you can do it as long as you'd like. All right, now the laundry is clean, but we have to fold it, right? So we're going to fold our laundry. So hopefully you can see my legs are out. I'm gonna breathe in, reach up as high as you can, and then just do a forward fold, and you're folding your laundry. I'm gonna practice that a couple times, breathing in and fold the laundry. I'm going to show you once on the side. So see, I'm sitting up nice and tall. My belly is strong. My nice tall spine, breathe in. And go ahead and try and touch the toes. You don't have to. You can come here. You can bend the knees and just fold over. Feels kind of good to do that after moving around so much. Oh, you can also try it again with wide legs or sitting crisscross applesauce. So wide legs obviously means your legs are out or crisscross applesauce. So breathe in and fold the laundry. This one would be nice actually doing butterfly pose where my feet are together and breathe in. Baddha Konasana, it's just a Sanskrit term for butterfly or collar pose. I think we learned that one last week. All right, let's make the bed. We're moving on in our chore section. So we can do this with a partner or we can do it from home, okay? So what I'm gonna do is um, show you what it's like to do by yourself, All right? We're gonna make the bed. So I'm going to get into, Penny, you're gonna help me out. Okay, we're going to get into a reverse table, okay, so regular table is this, hands and knees. Guess what reverse table is? I'm reversing my body, Ooh, and I'm doing a reverse table. Some kids remember this, maybe as crab walking, and you're gonna get to see that in a sec. So make your bed, all right, find any towel or blanket, nothing too, too heavy, maybe Fold it over a couple times so it doesn't drag. Okay. Make my, my bed. Penny, I'm gonna tuck Penny in. Any stuffed animal you have. Okay. I'm gonna get my hands and my feet ready. And I'm gonna make my bed. I'm going to walk. 
and then crab walk, maybe getting all four corners of the bed. All right, so that's making your bed. Fun, fun. Okay, this next one is dusting. Nobody likes that. I mean, maybe you do, and kudos to you. When all this is over, you can come in my house and just go. So, I'm going to take pom-poms. Some of my friends remember this doing toga, and maybe we'll do that another day. But we're going to pretend that these pom-poms are dust bunnies, okay? I'm just going to do that much for now. These are all, honestly, these are, you can get them at any dollar store. These are just like those little fuzzy things. You could probably do it with like, if you have like little ping pong balls, right? Um, something light that moves because what we're doing by dusting the bunnies is we're breathing the dust bunny, okay? So this is about breath control, which is what yoga is also about. Not just moving the body, but breathing and making it controlled. It's a big fancy word called prana yama. Okay, can you say that again? Prana yama. Prana means the life force within you, and the yama means the breath. So breathing, controlled breath. That is the way. So it's important that the dust bunnies don't blow off the edge of your mat. So if they do, you would have to start over. Um, but this, you know, you can just do it as long as you like. Okay, so you pretty much just get down here. And my dust bunnies, some of them already flew off my mat. Ah! So you control the breath. You don't blow too hard, but enough to move them and then hopefully stay on the yoga mat. All right. The next one is cooking. Now, depending on your ages, right? Some of you might cook at home. Some of you might not. Some of you might just be a part of the process, maybe setting the table, or maybe you make that favorite um, cookie recipe with your family. But, see I'm picking up after myself. That's good. Um, <clears throat> so for cooking, this one's fun. I don't know if I'm gonna show you it. I don't think I will. Um, so there's a song we're getting over at yoga called Yummy Yoga. And it introduces foods from all over the world by rolling around in your yoga mat. All right, so you can work together by making, say, a pizza. So the illustration is to roll, stretch, and cover the pizza in cheese and toppings, which is pom-poms, like little toppings. So um, I remember doing this in my training, and we had a lot of fun with it. So you can scoot over to one edge of your mat. I know mine is circle, but you can do it with regular mats on the long way. And you take it, and you roll, and you're a burrito, or a roll up, or whatever you want, pizza. And then somebody else can sprinkle on the topping if you want. Now with all those chores, I'm getting tired. Now I get to take a nap. And that just means Shavasana. Um, we haven't yet done the journey to the secret garden. I promise I will do that another time. But what you can do is grab a blanket or not and just go ahead and rest <sighs> if you'd like. Now, I can't do that because that would be kind of boring for you to watch me just lay there. So. We're not going to do that, but at any time you can certainly take a rest, pause it, however you want. Okay, we're moving on because I'm looking at the time. It's pretty cool. Time kind of flies when you're having fun. And this is the book I chose this week called Yoga Friends. It's all about partner poses, right? And it's by, it's a pose by pose partner adventure for kids. And it's by Miriam Gates and Rolf Gates and illustrated by Sarah Jane Hinder. And I want to show you before I get started in the back of the book. These are the yoga poses that are introduced in the book.
I'd read the names to you, but I can't really see them from that direction. And here. Okay. If you're not doing yoga with a friend today, that's okay, right? Because we're home. Because we're using our intelligence, staying home and staying safe. You can either do it with a family member or you can do it by yourself um, because all these poses um, pretty much can be done by yourself. Um, just is a little bit different. So here we go. When I am with you and you are with me, together we become what we want to be. We sit back to back. See that? And take a deep breath in. And then let it out slowly and we're ready to begin. This is nice. So here's that one. We are a feathery owl gazing down to the ground, a twist to each side, and we see all the way around. So do you see the owl? Because they're pretty good at twisting their heads around, aren't they? Next page. Ooh, the reptile house. Ah, yes. Lizard on a rock. Shout out to Zio. Anyway, um, we are a lizard on a rock basking in the sun. Back and forth we go until our rest is done. So that means you can switch, right? Somebody does rock, the other one does lizard. Ooh, whoa, what's this, a big octopus? See this one? Okay. One small turn and we're an octopus swimming silently so as not to cause alarm. We move slowly under the water, arm after arm after arm. So you can see, do knees bent or long? All right, here we are. Another shift and we're face to face and toes to toes. Now we're a sailboat skimming across the waves as it goes. Okay. This one's elegant. Next, we turn into a drawbridge and balance by looking into each other's eyes. Holding not too loose and not too tight, we help each other rise. So see how they're sitting, and then they help each other stand up. Looks like a warrior. All right. We are stronger together, hand in hand, we spread out wide. Well, that looks fun. Leaning in, we curve to form a heart with each of us as one side. Do you see the heart? Oh, sweet. Okay. Tree. Right. Now we grow into a tree with deep roots and limbs that reach the sky. Standing tall, we are quiet and still as the busy world moves by. Tree pose is very meditative because you're using all your focus on making sure you don't fall out. And once you kind of got the, the hang of it, it's kind of fun. And you, you can challenge yourself how long you can stay in the pose. And again, tree can be a kickstand where one foot is kickstand, the other one's on the ground. All right. When I am with you and you are with me, together we become what we want to see. What else can we be? An airplane, seesaw. Those look, this one looks a little hard, but fun. 
They all look kind of fun, don't they? Partner poses are the best. So I'm gonna just do a quick, ugh, quick review. You can pause it if you want to, if, if you wanna like read it. Class is coming to an end. the end yoga friends so another week on our rick theme of intelligence we all have it in one way or another and we're all doing our part by staying home and doing some yoga with our family and or just ourselves watching it which is also fun and i um having i'm having a lot of fun teaching you guys this so Hopefully you're enjoying and hope to see you next week. Next week is on the Rick theme C, which means courageous. And then the last week will be K for kind. All right. So peace out, everybody. Have a great day.